What if you want to create build-to-stock orders to accurately address any material shortages you have? A great way to do this is through CTEX MRP, build feature. To get there, click purchasing. Click MRP. Click MRP, build. Run an MRP refresh by clicking the refresh button. This tells the MRP report to pull data from the latest daily allocation data refresh, ensuring more accurate results. Once the MRP refresh is complete, the timestamp information in the header will update. When the refresh is complete, the MRP report will be shown here. For example, we can see that part 754961 is short by 2075 parts and sub 200 is short by 152. However, before creating any work orders, it's best to check the part waterfalls to see the most up-to-date supply and demand data and confirm your inventory levels at each warehouse where the part is housed. The quickest way to do that right on this screen is to go up to the Expand All Part Info field and select Waterfall Only. Click Submit. When we double check the waterfalls for sub 200, we see that we are indeed projected to be short by a quantity of 152.00 for this part in our main MN warehouse. If you want to create one work order for all of the parts on the report, you can click here. and all of the boxes will be selected. Or you can select specific parts. Let's create a build to stock order for sub 200. We check this box. Then we click build. Now, we can either choose an existing work order to add this part to. Or we can create a new work order. Next, we select the internal account we'd like to assign as the vendor on this work order. Then, we click Add, Create, Quote, Order Worksheet. A build to stock quote is created. And we can see that the part and the quantity have been pre-filled for us. Now you know how to use MRP, build to create a work order to fulfill existing material needs.